Hello there, welcome in to Sage to Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. I'm gonna do love messages for the sign of Capricorn June 2021. We already did a love reading, but that reading was mostly centered around ancestors and spiritual protection. So we wanna look into your romantic energy, Capricorn. All right, so we're going to take a look at what you're moving past in love and what is coming up for you. Bear in mind that this is a general reading. So all the messages may not apply to everyone at the time. So take what applies to you. These tarot messages are also to help you to find clarity in times of uncertainty so feel the energy of the reading all right let us get started so that is you wheel of fortune hmm, so i feel like a lot of good things are happening for you now a lot of good things are bursting up for you i feel and it feels like water bursting up out of the earth like a spring so I feel like a lot of things are springing into being and it's promising, promising things. It, so water energies, emotions, affection and love. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what's, what's happening for you. So this is your obstacle or your challenge, the strength card. What grounds you is the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is definitely your energy. I feel like there's it's it's financially right. You're able to and even in, in your value system, I feel like you are very valuable. You know how to make things work. Things may not always come through as quickly as you hope sometimes, but things always work out for you. I feel like you know, you trust in yourself, the ability to make things work out in your energy. So that makes you feel grounded. That is something that, and that is that is definitely Capricorn energy. Yeah, like a go-getter energy, like you know how to make things work out for you. So for your challenge, I feel like you may need to, it could be your emotions. Hmm. Your emotions. Let's see what you're moving. Pass. The nine of swords. Your highest aspirations. Oh, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you could be missing someone, but true. You know the nine of swords energy but it's it's going to be a past energy you know maybe not it's going to be moving in your past energy maybe that's what you need to be um or that's what you're being strong about your emotions how you're feeling now but i feel like it's, it's good even though you're it's like it's not it, it doesn't feel so wonderful with the Wheel of Fortune, it makes me feel like it is good. Like it could be, like if you cry, the, the tears could be good as a cleanse, it's, you know, that energy. Um, some of you are looking like you're missing someone or longing for a connection. Maybe f something from the past, hoping something will come back around to you. I see this is someone that you have great feelings for. You've had a lot of experiences with this connection. Was emotionally um, intimate to emotionally intimate and grounding connection. Could be between a water sign and the earth sign. 
So that would be you and the Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. And we're looking at what's coming up. Mm. The Knight of Wands. So I see someone could be coming into you. It could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Fire sign also with the strength guide energy, Leonian energy. Because the Knight of Wands is migration, movement, traveling. And this is traveling at a, a quick pace, actually. It's not too slow. You know, so I feel like someone is coming back to you or coming around to you. And this could be the same person that was um, you were missing, that you couldn't sleep at night for, you know. I feel like you're trying to put on this, you know, like rose-colored glasses. Or you're trying to, because these blankets makes me feel like this person is trying to hide, hide or cover up. The fact that they're a bit sad, you know, or fretful. But this energy is coming back. And I feel like they're coming back with good things. With the wands energy here flourishing. Could be new ideas. Passionate new beginnings, you know. Fire energies, intensity. In fact, this person is really set on coming in maybe traveling the distance to come to come back hmm. oh my gosh <laughs> the six of cups energy is literally someone coming back from your past water sign earth sign here coming back this is also you capricorn um like loving on yourself taking care of yourself you know especially with the nine of swords energy where sometimes you don't feel so wonderful it is important for you to you know attend to your own emotions because remember i was saying with the wheel of fortune energy i feel like there could be some it's good blessings, but it's water energy. It's like a spring bursting up from the from the earth. It could be tears, but I feel like it's blessings. And I feel like you're going to be attending to your own emotional needs. For real, for true. Right? And it's going to bring in blessings for you. Someone from your past energy could be coming back into you. Yes like a real love connection it could be a childhood love oh my gosh oh my god oh my god oh my gosh <laughs> i swear you cannot make it up look at this so the bottom of the deck is the seven of pentacles this is your energy waiting i feel like you're waiting for someone to come through waiting for a paycheck waiting for a job waiting for some money and it's, it's something that you're emotionally invested in something that you have grounded yourself in something that you believe in so it's like a true investment and you're waiting for it to flourish for you overall now let us get to this look at the cups look at all the cups energy because i knew i had to do over your love reading um capricorn so something beautiful is coming into your home cancer pisces or scorpio look at this what energy that is emotional fulfillment here blessings in abundance this is so beautiful it's it's everything the golden cup it's like royalty heavenly it's like a reunion a celebration it's so a divine connection coming in for you and this could be a past person coming around from someone from your childhood or a childhood love experience it's so beautiful i love seeing these two cards together like this person is the one that is offering you this all of this this is abundance new beginnings new opportunities like new waves of emotions 
like I feel like even moving out old emotions. I feel like curing, healing. So and, and I feel like that's where strength card comes in because it, there's going to be a transformation emotionally for you with this love connection. Look at this energy. This is so divine. This is magician energy, alchemy and infinite energy of love and abundance prosperity we see that reflected with the sun card and the sun card is representing what you're hoping for which is prosperity and this is saying yes the sun energy material success and abundance a prosperous and happy relationship it's all coming in for you and this is so amazing the sun is out this feels like july energy and then your outcome is the chariot capricorn the chariot is everything coming into you this is earth and water energy i promise you in my energy field this is earth and water right this is archangel and energy coming in your blessings this is royalty prosperity this is you coming in all right this is an energy that is coming in with its everything the ships are coming in this is being victorious triumphant successful like you're coming back with with all of the treasures like all this abundance is coming into you and look at it with the wheel of fortune energy it's so amazing capricorn beautiful i <laughs> I cannot put it into words it's, it's beautiful and the only negative card like sort of negative is the nine of swords and when you pair it with the five of cups you can see why like you're missing someone but then it says they're coming back around Aries Leo Sagittarius energy like and a lot of water energy Cancer Pisces and Scorpio remember that i'm telling you <laughs> i know i know i've said it but it's like i don't want to stop because i feel like i haven't said it well enough the three of pentacles crowns you're reading with the playing cards here and then the nine of hearts which is wish fulfillment manifestation of your heart's desires here on another level coming through I want to say be patient just be patient and allow allow especially with the ace of cups card the sun shines on you i feel like you have guidance a heavenly presence because both three is this three represent the sun energy for me too right so it's beautiful it's amazing it's prosperity success joy it's reconnection of love it's healing transformation it's blessings i feel like as i said it's like things are springing oh my god i did not just miss that i did say things are springing it's like a spring didn't i with the wheel of fortune energy and things are it's literally like a spring of abundance coming up for you i feel like things are springing up for you it's so amazing and when you have water, you have sun energy. What's that? Prosperity, that's fruitfulness. It, and it's, it's financially with the Knight of Pentacles. And it's definitely in love. In love energy. Oh. <clears throat> Any other messages? Anything else you want to say to Capricorn? Angels, birds, guides? Messages from the angels, any messages from the spirits, hmm. any messages from the guides. Thank you so much. Messages for Capricorn, energy and love. Any messages, healing messages for Capricorn, energy and love. Okay. Oh my gosh. The world energy. Traveling is, is something or someone coming back in your world. Capricorn, you're an earth sign. 
The pentacles are earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So I feel like you could be starting a job or some money, a business, prosperity coming into your world. That's what I've been saying. Amazing. Some of you could be traveling or someone could be coming back to you. Some of you could be traveling to someone. Um, the world card and the chariot energy. Someone coming in with the ships into your world. And this is also con connecting to your ancestral energy. Right? With the sun and the chariot. Yes, connect, connecting to your ancestral energy, your roots. And I feel like that will help you to be patient because I feel like patience is a virtue. It's something for me to tell you that it's very important for you to feel patient. Well, all right, thank you so much, Capricorn. This has been a lovely and amazing reading. Thank you for tuning in. I do hope you found messages here that are able to help you along your journey. So this is Healing Tarot. So look for messages that will help you to bring clarity, feelings of satisfaction, affirmation, confirmation, anything that's going to help you. Thank you so much for all of your support. Details to support my channel in the description box below this video. Other ways to support is by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing, sharing, subscribing to my channel and sharing it with those that you love. Much love and appreciation to you. Remember always Capricorn that you can be to have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all and all is within you. Much love. Thank you.